we're gonna go uh, rescue Daryl now. In this video, we're gonna show you the things that you need to know before you rent a snowmobile, especially if you're from warm country and you've never ridden one. You should really use your weight. Yeah. You're riding it like a, well, you're not even riding it like a jet ski. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I, maybe I should have told you, have you ridden snowmobiles before? Your throttle helps you steer. If you accelerate and lean, it's going to push the, the sled. When you're sitting down like that, your center of gravity is too high. You want to lean. Honestly, you don't really want to sit down too much. Just like a four wheeler. But I see that you're you're tipping and I don't want you to wrap. Yeah. Well, I think they're fun. I love it. different than riding a motorcycle on the street. Oh yeah. <laughs> a lot different than a motorcycle. Man, it is windy up here. Yeah, yeah. it is down there. Get pick them up. All right, let's go. Since we didn't have a tow rig, we actually rode right from the shop through a bunch of neighborhoods and whatnot to get here, but uh, we made it. 10 miles up the road, we met up with my daughter. You might remember Ivy, Arizona. Apache Death Cave. Yeah, Apache Death Cave. I'm gonna go take her snowmobile in for the first time, see how she does. What are you thinking, Michael? I'm gonna just do my next purchase. Kelly's gonna like that one. Next two. Yeah, yeah, right? You can't buy snowmobiles in one. I know, you can't. It has to be two, four, six, or eight. Yep. Action cam right there. I know, it's supposed to be really tight, baby. There we go. Look at that, you're a cutie. Now look right here. That way the wind don't blow in your face, okay? Okay. My suggestion, Daryl? She's technically supposed to be on the back. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to put in front of you. That's what I'm going to try to do. Because she's so young and she got yeah. those gloves on. Yeah. You want help popping up? There you go. Tight. Make sure you zip your pockets up on the snowmobile suits because I lost my cell phone. I hate having to buy a new phone. I seem like I buy a new phone like every week. Okay, high performance Ivy. watch more damn videos. <laughs> hey, hey you guys. guys. That was pathetic. <laughs> One more time. Take three. Hey, hey you guys. guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never mind. You know what? We're gonna keep it. We're out here at Bear Lake snowmobiling in Utah just north of Salt Lake. Check it out. If you're new to the channel, I'm Wayne. Well, I got my daughter with me today. April's uh, she wanted to come but she said I was gonna drive like a nut which is true. And we got Michael with us. And we also have Daryl and his granddaughter with us. Say hey, Daryl. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Sit back, relax, and enjoy the journey. Bear River Fun Times, running some snowmobiles. Let's do it. Fire this thing up and go. Up up front, lead, Michael. Yeah, yeah, okay, we'll come help you. Yeah, no problem. So much easier, huh? That looks so easy. Yeah. <laughs> that was, we tried it, it didn't look that easy. Yeah, that's cool. You guys okay? Is that okay? Yeah, we did. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. No worries. At least it wasn't a tree, right? Yeah. <laughs> you having fun? Yeah. I think the big trick to it is leaning. Lean the opposite direction you're going. That way the sled won't fall on top of you. At least it was soft powder so it didn't hurt anything. Right. You guys ready? Some water? 
Oh yeah, she really needs water, Daryl. You guys need water too. I know. When you're out at the high elevation like this, you burn through your water super fast and you will dehydrate in a minute. So definitely have a camel bag here. Do this to unscrew it. It works better if you unscrew this one. I don't use it. Well, you gotta hold the water bag up high. It works on gravity. Yeah, have fun guys. Be safe. Glad we could come to the rescue. So pretty. Oh, it's so amazing, isn't it? All right, hold on. I'm, I'm going to have to. We'll put the links below to Bear Lake Fun. Good guys over there. Good reasonable price for an eight-hour uh, adventure. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't ever go near the trees. <laughs> Ivy, trees are dangerous. I'm serious. Don't go near the trees. <laughs> I was trying to kick the snow off my shoe on the tree, and I just got it in my Yeah, yeah, but... What, one thing you don't want to do is get near the trees because they become hollow in there and then you can fall in and hurt your leg, break your leg, get trapped in it. They're my chic snow boots. They're not really snow boots, but they're an attempt. They look like snow boots. Well, they might be. I don't know. They look, they look good enough. Yeah, I want to see you start this. <laughs> Pull hard, Ivy. Pull hard. You got it. That One more so time. Long. No, that was not even close. Because it's beefing, because it says you went too far. Push it. Yeah. Let's do some drone right here since we've got good. Sure. Let's do it. Right. We have to use your drone though because I lost my phone. You want you want to fly or you want me to fly and, and get you guys? Well, I'll fly for a little bit getting y'all doing crazy shit. All right. All right. You're the camera person. What about the camera? Your camera and me be a fool. Here, hold my beer. You see him on the drone? I hear him now. Are you coming? Oh, I thought I heard him. I hear him. Yeah. Did he flip? Go rescue him. He's buried. He's buried. Did you put it in reverse? Uh huh. Remember what I told you about reverse? Yeah. So your uncle Daryl. He decided to get the snowmobile stuck. We're gonna go uh, rescue Daryl now because he's not supposed to be uh, Wayne, getting it whoa, stuck. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Let's get this right. My snowmobile's over there. I wasn't driving that snowmobile. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, let me see what you got going I, on. I, was, I can't go forward. There's nowhere to go. Go right through the thing. I'm not driving that bitch through there. 
if, if he wants to, to he can. I don't know. Let me see for a second. I don't think we can make that. I don't think we can either. So what we got to do is we got to spin this. Spin it? We got to spin it. We have to pick the rear end up and spin it. Okay. Come on, guys. Let's see what we can get. I don't think we're going to get much of that. Spin it. We got to push. Pick up and pull. Okay, hang on. I got to go. I got to get up. Can we swing the front end around? Uh, it's probably lighter on the rear, though. Yeah, it probably yeah, is. Yeah, because so let's try with this. See how far we can spin it first. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, shit. We got to pick it up some more? Yeah, I think so. We're digging in the snow here. Oh, uh, we're digging in at the front. Oh. Yeah, we're digging problem. in the front. Oh, we might be able to swing it around a little bit more now. One, two, three. No. Oh, no. We're we'll getting the front. over here. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. All right. Okay. I mean, I'm going to try reverse. You want to try to spin this around some more? Push. Michael, you're going to have to come up here and push with this thing oh, here. Oh, oh. We're going to go backwards. up again because I buried it oh yeah well I knew that was gonna happen I just needed to get yeah. moved back a little bit gotta go straight up with the guys up, ready? Ready? One, two, up and over we can get another two foot yep I say I'm old and fat <laughs> <laughs> ready one two three oh yeah that should do it no one, one more of those one more Wait. one two three. all right you ready one two three. Oh yeah there we go we can pull the front around I don't know. Uh, if we, we get one we more. Keep going, let's go. I mean, I don't want to get it into a situation where we can't do it again. <laughs> right. One, two, three. I think we can get it. deep snow for you no more yeah right <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i got so much snow in my boots oh. got a couple quick tips for you when you're doing the snowmobiling you don't really want to get off the green trails too far because you can trigger an avalanche and you won't survive all right we're on the road again tell you what it'll wear you out yeah it does just came across a pack of mule deer do you get any footage of that deer yeah hell yeah <laughs> i can't do it <laughs> all right let's go daughter's gonna drive. Go on, get on it! Come on! Lean into the turns. Lean into the turns. There you go. There's about 500 miles of trails out here. So my daughter decided to go snowmobiling today without gloves. So guess who has my gloves? Not me. My hands are completely frozen. Oh, thanks. I can have them now that we stopped? Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> we just got the drive-by. Here comes Michael. Your turn to go again. I guess they're not waiting for us. <laughs> they don't care. My hands are frozen. <laughs> Throw them down there. Do you want them? <laughs> no, I'm fine. You got the heated he heated grips. No, uh, there's not heated grips on there. Those are not heated. Now they are. Oh, Somebody are turned them off. Right? I'll survive. No, no, I'm fine. Go Here, keep keep your hands warm. I want you to be able to hold on to the steering wheel because I don't want you to fall off and wreck and die. 
Well, since I'm thanks. on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta do the pool start, huh? Oh, is this up? Alright, back again. Still gonna be alive when you're pulling somebody or towing somebody. And you got two people, you gotta be extra careful because they have a tendency to flip over easier. Watch out for the snowshoer. No, nope. cross country skier. Gonna go help Michael try to move this sled. He's got it now. All right, that's awesome. Snowmobiles don't really maneuver on ice or on asphalt, so you gotta manhandle them. And these things are not light. That's why I thought we crossed the street, but I don't remember. We only crossed the street once. Yeah, we only crossed the street once. We only crossed it once. Do we have a map with us? Nope. You lost the map? Yeah. Right oh. Just keep going. I would keep going. All right, let's do it. Sitting on top of the world here. Now, see that lake out there? It's all froze over, but in the summertime, it looks like the Caribbean Ocean. It is so blue and amazing looking. That is Bear Lake in Utah. Great place to come out and go snowmobiling. In the summertime, you can play on the boats, go camping, all kinds of stuff to do out here. It's only about two hours from Salt Lake City, so it's easy to get to. Look how amazing this is. know if you had a good nap on that snowmobile. I did have a nap on it when it was pretty it was a pretty good nap. It was a good nap on nothing like snowmobile nap. That old head flop back <laughs> and went in and I'm trying to drive and I'm like wake up Annabelle she's sleeping away. We want to thank you guys for watching our video all the way to the end. If you would hit that subscribe button share it with a friend. And like always, thank you for your life.